Hello everyone and welcome for this new episode of Teach Yourself to Draw, a series in which I cover drawing with a specific focus on self-education. For this episode, we are going to do a master copy of this drawing by Jean Clouet. If you want to follow along, you can go to my website, download the model and download all the resources. All right, but let's start. All right, first let's talk a little bit about the artist. The artist is Jean Clouet. He was a, a painter who worked in France during the Renaissance. The drawing is done with black chalk and sanguine or red chalk. And for the purpose of this copy, we are not going to replicate the technique itself. We are going to use simple graphite and white paper. So the look of the entire thing will feel a lot different of course because you can replicate a technique with another technique but we're not going to focus on this for this copy we are going to focus solely on getting the likeness and getting the proportions right now a little bit of story about the model as well his name is jean de dinteville he was a diplomat and an ambassador you might recognize him because he was also painted three years later by another famous artist hans holbein in the famous painting the ambassadors and uh, you see that the likeness is um, pretty accurate and this is going to be our objective for this master copy is replicate the likeness this episode is really going to focus on how you can draw the face of a person so that it really looks like it's the right person and not somebody else it doesn't have the eyes too far apart doesn't have a nose that's too big or too small, doesn't have a mouth that doesn't have the right angle. And all these things are really, really important if you want to draw a portrait. So this drawing, although it, it's deceptively simple, but in a way it's going to help us achieve a high degree of, uh, of accuracy because um, Jean Clouet was really focused on exactly that. He just focused on the essential elements of the, of the likeness and this is what we are also going to focus on. But of course if you want to do your master copy with any other type of uh, drawing of your choice, any type of model of your choice, uh, just uh, just do as you want and do as you please. All right, so if you've seen my previous video on proportions, you can see that I start with the plumb line, which is a very important uh, a very important line for the structure of the drawing. And you can also see that I start with top and bottom. Very simple. The drawing always starts like this. It's like the the spine of the drawing. Start with the plumb line try to place the plumb line at a, a spot where you have interesting things crossing it right here you can see that i put my red plumb line uh, at a spot where it meets the eye and the corner of the mouth and i'm going to use these points to help me uh, judge the proportions and get more accurate uh, more accurate proportions Getting the right likeness is all about getting accurate proportions and, uh, and this is how I proceed. As you can notice, every time I place a point or a line, I always try to make a guess and you see that I, I place a little mark and then I erase, I step back, I check if it's correct and if needed I erase or I keep it um, at the very beginning in the very beginning for your drawing you don't have the choice you have to sort of make a guess make an assumption and see if it works or not but until you have placed a little mark to sort of uh, sort of guess you can't really be sure about where it is and uh, you have to proceed like this you make a guess and you check for it and if it's good you keep it if it's not good you don't keep it and this is the second part the very important part of this drawing is using anchor points visual landmarks in your drawing uh, that are points that you can clearly see
Now, before we move on, if you like this video and if you want to see more like this, you have to know that this is only possible because of all the amazing support that I receive on Patreon. So I really want to thank all my patrons. If you want to join my Patreon, you can have full access to the videos in real time with commentary. So you have all the help you need and you learn a lot more things with exclusive content as well on both uh, drawing and painting. And uh, if you can't or if you don't want to join my Patreon, you have some things that you can do to help me share, like, leave a comment to let YouTube know that this video is worth watching and all these things really help. So let's move on to the rest. Now you can see that I'm measuring with a pencil. I'm measuring the length between the tip of the pencil and my thumb. And this is the method that I recommend because um, this is a method that you can use even if you're not drawing a flat picture. But if uh, you struggle with this method because your arm moves a lot and you're not sure and you want to check the accuracy of your drawing but you're, you don't have a teacher, you don't have an instructor behind your back to check the proportions for you and say what needs to be corrected. If you really struggle then I suggest that you use um, a little drawing compass like this one and you can measure the distance. So really if you're not sure you can measure the length between uh, well, let's say the plumb line and the left part right here. I'm measuring and see I had the right one right there. So yeah, you, ha you have two marks. I have one that's correct and the other one is wasn't correct. So I, I just remove the ones that, that's wrong. And uh, you know, I had measured that with my pencil, but um, it's, it's a little bit more difficult to be sure uh, because the arm is constantly moving. It's really hard to keep such a steady arm that you can measure like this. So sometimes it helps to just use the drawing compass like this just to measure the distance and make sure that you have the right proportions. As I said in my previous video on proportions, top and bottom are kind of easy to find, but left and right are a lot more difficult and this is always a problem of making the face too wide or too narrow and this is mostly because um, left and right are uh, always harder to find than top and bottom. Now at this point you can see that my drawing is evolving and starting to look very geometric at this point, it's only straight lines. I try to keep my lines very straight because it's a lot easier to measure distances when the lines are uh, very straight and geometric, whereas if you have curves all over the place it will make it a lot harder to measure. So if you keep your lines straight, if you keep this uh, this kind of structure of uh, straight lines and only straight lines you avoid curves and this is going to make your life a lot easier especially in the early stages and this is a yes the likeness is not here yet but I'm slowly building proportions that are correct and the likeness will just come naturally once all the proportions are or are put in place. Now you can see that it's starting to look a little bit more like the model and you still don't have all the details but you have some key lines. It's still very geometric at this point, everything is still made out of very simple straight lines. At this point if you need to check and if you're by yourself just use a drawing compass and uh, you will have a much better idea of what needs to be corrected. And because the drawing is still at this very geometric phase it's going to be a lot easier to check. So try to keep your drawing geometric for as long as you can and be relentless with checking. Never assume that you're right for anything always assume that you're wrong and that every line you place needs to be checked 
and needs to be corrected for accuracy. You want to be super precise in everything you do. You want to make sure that the angle is correct. You want to make sure that distances between, I don't know, the mouth and the nose is correct. You want to make sure that distances between uh, the two eyes is correct. Everything needs to be uh, checked for accuracy. Now you can see that the drawing is evolving and it's still only a blocking at this stage. A blocking means that it's only lines. And it's slowly, slowly evolving. And you can see that slowly the straight lines are very, very subtly replaced with the curves. And because I have a high degree of precision in how the, the straight lines were placed, the curves are very easy to draw now. Now I start the shading and for this episode really it's not what we are going to focus on uh, and I actually chose this drawing because the shading is very simple in its nature. It's uh, very very subtle so of course the, the shading cannot be exactly the same because uh, jean Clouet used another technique that's not graphite. So he used um, um, chalks, red and black chalks and this combination forms this uh, skin-like appearance. And really we're not trying to achieve that, we're not trying to achieve the same type of shading, we're just going to focus on simple values and this very simple and subtle shading with a very uh, little shadows. Use a pencil that's uh, very hard, like 2H, and slowly try to shade and at the same time remove the lines which are construction lines and now they need to be erased like the line delineating the beard for instance this line like this uh, across doesn't exist so when I do the shading at the same time I remove the construction lines now we're getting more in the details and we are slowly 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 building the the shading it's very very sun, subtle shading and as i said it's not really the point of this video but at this point if you still have something that needs to be corrected always be on the lookout for things you might have missed because it's easy to miss something and go too early in the shading i really want to uh, emphasize how it's important to make sure that the likeness is correct before you start shading and the problem is that before you have the shadows before you have the half tones um, the lines alone can't really give you a good impression of the likeness and the proportions all right so now it's just the finishing details but um, since this is not really the point, the shading is not the point of this video and this episode we're going to cover that later but uh, I really want to focus on how to get the right likeness and things that you can do if you're by yourself and if you struggle with this very point. It's really hard, especially for a portrait, to get the likeness with a high degree of precision and to have the feeling that the person is exactly the person that you are actually uh, drawing. And really, I'm not going to lie, it's, uh, it's something very complicated. It needs a lot of practice. So you have to be relentless with your, pra your practice and you have to not give up and make sure that you keep working. And if you really struggle with likeness, I'm going to ask you to check for these uh, difficulties and these points that beginners often struggle with. Aren't you maybe trying to rush a little bit into the shading part? Do you really spend enough time in checking proportions in the beginning? Do you have a drawing that looks curvy in the early stages of your drawing? Because that might also be a point of difficulty. Do you have a plumb line and some type of structure when you start your drawing or do you start freehand? Do you sometimes do 
left and right before you do top and bottom because this could also be a problem uh, that can like mess up all the proportions do you have problems with the relation between the various features of the face like, like the eye and the nose but have you ever spent enough time checking the distance between them like rechecking and if you struggle with likeness I really need that you spend some time asking yourself these uh, questions and you might not really like the result because uh, I know that the early parts and all the checking and measuring and constant focus on proportions is tedious and can be frustrating but um, if you really want to improve you need to spend some time on this phase and really reconsider how fast you are going through this phase because it all happens there it's just like building a house you want some solid foundations if you don't have the solid foundations everything crumbles and that's exactly that's exactly the same with the drawing if you start shading you start putting the roof but you don't have solid foundations no it's not gonna work and uh, yeah that's how it is so that's my word of advice for you if you struggle with uh, getting the right likeness do this exercise or do any model of your choice anything goes really but just make sure that you check for all the key anchor points and all the visual landmarks that you can gather in the beginning before you jump into the shading part all right that's it for this video that's the entry level into master copy i think that progressively we are going to go into more complexity but uh, this kind of linear drawing was uh, a great entry into the mindset of copying a master and um, and starting simple and go progressively into more complicated technique and try to really stick to the technique of the master or try to uh, take some liberties and try to reinterpret the work of the master uh, that's it for this video if you liked it don't hesitate to like subscribe and share this really helps the channel a lot and i'll see you for the next episode until then have fun drawing and uh, take care bye